Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. Do you realize you are ruining your family, Clarence? Don't you see the risk here? Money isn't important. Not important when it is a matter of life and death. That is what my dear Venus cannot understand. People will laugh at you, if they don't already. Think about your wife and your position. Think about your future. I understand my wife's embarrassment, but gossips don't kill, vampires do. There'll be no future if people don't open their eyes. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but if warning people is that important to you, why not choose a more efficient way to spend your money? Don't you think I tried? I knocked at every door, went to every bank, I even tried to be published. No, Jonathan. This is a one-man war. Clarence, why have you distributed leaflets about vampires all across the West End? I have to warn everybody about them. They've killed thousands of people already. Unnoticed thanks to the epidemic. We are all in danger here. Vampires in London? Come on, Clarence. Who's going to believe that? I'm not mad, Jonathan. You have to believe me. I know they are real. They're all around us, even as we speak. Clarence, you've always been a reliable and a good friend to me. If you say you saw a vampire, then I believe you. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you for your trust. You don't know what that means to me. It's all right. But if you want my help, you have to explain exactly what happened. The first time, it was in Rouen. I saw an officer drink the blood of a soldier. I saw its teeth. I saw it bite. It was a vampire, Johnny, and, and they're here too. Tell me what you have discovered about vampires, Clarence. They've always been here. And if you search for long enough, you realize others know about these devils too. I'm not alone. Have you shared your research with anybody else? No. But I've published my leaflets all across the city, hoping that someday someone will realize I'm printing the truth. What do you mean you're not alone? Who have you met? The Guard of Prewin. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll, Ichabod Throgmorton. Those names always pop up when you dig deep enough. Have you spoken with any of them? No. With the quarantine, it's almost impossible to leave the West End. But as a doctor, maybe you could, Johnny. Are you asking me to help you prove the existence of vampires, Clarence? Yes, Johnny. Please, gather all the information you can find about vampires and bring it to me. You're the only friend I have left. I need you. Clarence, tell me about the vampire you saw in France. I was enjoying my leave in Rouen. I left the bar, took a shortcut back to the barracks. I saw it in a back alley, an officer in a stained uniform, biting into a soldier's neck. Did you ever see that officer again? No. He wore the uniform of the Royal Warwickshire Regiment. I did some research, but found no trace of him. He probably stole it from a previous victim. But you were drunk, weren't you? Are you sure these two men were not just... kissing? Please don't insult me, Johnny. I hid, and I saw him leave. Then I saw the body. Drained of all blood. I've seen the same marks here in London since I've returned. Do you need medical... No, thanks. You need some rest.
me about vampires, Karina. You must have met one recently. He promised he would help me. Give me immortality. Make me escape this world of death. He promised. Who is he? How did you meet him? I can't tell you, Doctor. He won't let me. Karina, I order you to reveal to me the name of the vampire who took control of your will. Speak their name. Don't you dare interfere with my game, Ekon. Go find yourself your own toy and let me play with mine. Who are you? Reveal yourself. Let this woman be. Why? What would be the fun in that? It's so amusing to see her defile herself, one bite at a time. This vampire is as powerful as he is wicked. Help me, please, Dr. Reed. Help me. Can I help? The rat! I must go. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand? Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. I may have a look at... It's locked, all right.
It's locked. Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan? I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, you have come back too late, sir. Far too late. I know, Avery. I know about Mary and my mother. I'm so sorry. It was my duty to watch over her. She left the house in the middle of the night. The police said... It's all right, Avery. The police said her body was found near your sister's grave in Whitechapel. You're the master of the house now. I'd understand if you fired me, sir. I'm currently investigating sources of the epidemic in this part of town. Do you know anything useful? Not really, except all the McPherson's servants resigned a few days ago. They feared becoming infected, they said. The McPhersons? Where do they live? I think it's a rich house near the railway bridge in the southern part of the district. Do you need med- I won't refuse, sir. Here is your prescription. Thank you very much, sir. What are the arrangements for my mother's funeral? There will be no funeral, sir. No ceremony whatsoever because of the sanitary situation. Where is her body, then? I'm afraid your mother's body was moved to a mass grave somewhere. I have no other information. Civil service is paralyzed, sir. And London is crumbling down. How was life in this house while I was away? It was sad, sir. Miss Mary moved here in July after she lost her baby and husband. So I stayed to serve both her and your mother. How was my mother? Miss Reed was very frail. After Miss Mary was found dead, your mother started talking to herself. She said she was speaking to the dead. She even said that she had seen you. How was Mary? Miss Mary went out looking for you every night after you had written to say that you were coming back. She was sure you were alive. She'll never know she was right. I'm sorry I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir. But your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, the West End seems spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead, and I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. Whatever arrangement you had with my father, I won't force you to stay now that my mother is gone. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. Do you really think I neglected my mother, Avery? Yes. I see. Well, 
Please go on, speak freely. It's not as if there is anything left to treasure in this house. Just like your father, you always had this capacity to focus only on what interests you. It surely helped you become a great doctor, but not such a great son. <laughs> I fulfilled my promise to your father. This house is now yours, murderous son. It's locked, all right. It's locked. I remember Sunday walks in the past. 